Yeah, the state making changes that really came at the last minute in terms of preparing for this election that's coming up on Tuesday. So when you get your absentee ballot may have a lot more instructions than usual. This is an unusual election. Unusual in part because of the record breaking number of absentee ballot requests. Election Secretary Paul Zirik says it's not only a record for a primary, it also beats out any general election. County election boards knew there would be an influx and, and, and I know that they are well prepared. They have been working days, nights, weekends to, to try to make sure that those are going out on a, on a timely basis. One big difference for next Tuesday is this year you'll get the usual instructions, but also special instructions on green paperwork. The key point, you don't need to get your ballot notarized. You just need to attach a copy of your ID and it's still got to arrive at the election board by 7 p.m. on election day. If you do plan to vote in person, check online, make sure your polling location has not changed. Patience will be necessary because uh, just the nature of, of social distancing alone, even if that was the only thing that was going on, you know, that in and of itself would slow things down a little bit. Oklahoma City, Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News.